Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Hex, hello there. Um, this is a video about Rocket League. Um, Rocket League specifically on three monitors. Now, I've done this particular video thing because I honestly couldn't think of another way of recording it. So I've used the camera up there to just record them screens. As you can see, Rocket League is running all right. Now I'm using OBS um, and obviously that takes some resources. Um, so it's not quite as smooth as usual. But yeah, it's uh, these are three 27 inch screens all attached via DisplayPort. Um, I have no problems whatsoever with Rocket League. I've played quite a lot of Rocket League now with this, and I just missed the ball completely. I've played quite a lot of Rocket League, and uh, I'm sorry that this particular crappy webcam I've used that's quite a distance away from the screens, and then I've zoomed in with, um, it's not it's not quite as clear as it could be, and I don't think it's doing the game justice. But the reason I'm making a video is not to show off, um, but because when I uh, plugged in my three monitors, uh, when I plugged in my three monitors, um, I was in the weird position of uh, not really knowing how to structure them and how to get Rocket League to play across three screens, which was interesting because there's no option in the game to do it. Now, I know from other YouTubers who have done this um, that it is possible. That was the wrong button, wasn't it? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I need the... There we go. I finally found the right button. Yes! A um, lot of flipping around there. It's fine. We'll just we'll just leave that in. It's fine. Um, so, in order to do this, how do you do it? Well, first of all, you have to have your three scenes connected and working on your desktop. Assuming they're working on your desktop, then that's the bulk of the work done. What you have to do then is make an edit to a file. Um, that file is found in... There we go. Where is it? There we go. If you go into your home directory and then go into dot .local, share... Rocket League with a capital R, just in case you're trying to find it. TA, again, capitals, then config. I'll put the, uh, the the location in the description below the video. You're then looking for a file that called Linux TA System Settings INI. If you uh, load that file, you'll then get um, uh, this one here. Now, what you have to do is you need to give your entire resolution of your screens as if they're one screen. You need to set it at 5760 for 3 1080p screens by 1080. And what that'll do is that'll literally make a window that fills the screens. Uh, you also need to set it to um, to full screen borderless in the game settings before you do this. I forgot to mention that, sorry. So you go into the game, set it to full screen borderless um, or set it to windowed. Either one works fine. And then come here and set this X and Y resolution. I've, yeah, I've explained that badly, but I think I've got my point across. I'm certainly not recording that again because it was a nightmare. Couldn't find the buttons. It all got confusing. But yeah, just these settings here, res X and res Y. Um, you also may have to put, uh, there is a detect desktop, allow uh, detect desktop resolution setting in here somewhere. Hmm, oh, yeah, I had it earlier. But yeah, if you have any problems, it's probably the auto detecting the uh, desktop resolution, which is something you can just turn off. Um, you can just turn off in the options anyway. Uh, but yeah, you just do that. Nice and simple. You just change the X, the uh, call, you just change the resolution, res X and res Y. Don't forget, res X is the length of the monitors. So it's like 1920 times three. Um, maybe four. I mean, I don't see any reason why you couldn't do this with like 10 monitors. Like, it doesn't seem like that what we're doing here affects is something that is limited. So if you had like, like six monitors, you could probably do that. Again, I'm, I'm not sure why you'd want to, because three is ridiculous, and you saw with uh, that display. I mean, these are three 27-inch screens. This is like a six-foot of monitor here. Um, I couldn't imagine playing it any bigger. It'd be that much fun. This is a little bit nauseated, actually. It's a bit too big itself, to be honest. But uh, yeah, you can uh, you can do that, and it's just nice and straightforward. Save that file when you're done. Exit, and then launch Rocket League, and it will launch in. It'll start off sort of in a window, and then just pop out big after a second or so. Um, and yeah, I've played about what, what? I've played like three or four hours in this resolution, and I've had no problems. I would say, obviously, when you render it at this resolution, your frame rates are going to go down. Now, I get like 100 and some frames a second in Rocket League on 1080, so when I made it bigger, I didn't lose, I didn't get, I didn't lose like three times. It wasn't like running three copies of Rocket League, but I lost a good 30% off the top um, across it, which seems reasonable. I haven't checked the exact frame rates, but it does feel like as soon as I start recording with OBS or something, I feel like then it starts to go, the frame rate's a little bit off, but I'm sure I'm running it really high frame rates just when I'm not doing anything else, but how do you record that? So anyway, this has been hopefully a guide for those of you with three screens that want to know how to make Rocket League stretch over all of them. You could do it with two screens as well, just two times 1080. Uh, you could do that, no problem, um, but your car would be in the bezel. Um, so if you've got bezel-less monitors or you, it doesn't bother you, perhaps two screen people could try it. And if your monitors are different resolutions, um, I can't see how that would work. But if you've got one monitor that's lower than 1080, as long as the height of the resolution height is like the maximum of the smallest monitor, I suppose that would work. 
but obviously I have no way of testing it. So mess about that Res X Res Y option in the file and see where you go. I've been HexDSL. Hopefully this has been useful to you and I babbled through it. So just look in the description below the video for all the information I've just given you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow with another game. Bye.